the 2013-14 Olympic season for two-man bobsleigh. They moved to the track in Calgary, Alberta. Opening event, Steve Langton on the brakes. Steve Holcomb, the driver. Holcomb starts the season off with a gold medal. Boy, people didn't realize how good of a North American season he was going to have. Holcomb, hefty in spring. The top three in Calgary at the opening event for the Vista World Cup Tour and moves south down to Park City, Utah. This time it's Steve Holcomb with another break from Chris Vogt. No difference in the finish time. Holcomb, two tenths lead here in the second run on the bottom. He runs away with it. Chris Vogt, Holcomb, two for two. Cunningham, his teammate, second. Francisco Friedrich in third. Two runs down. And Steve Holcomb, the winner in Park City. Now they move 2,000 miles east to Lake Placid, New York. It's Steve Holcomb and Steve Langton again. Holcomb, he had already won two straight two mans, and he's won two straight four mans going into this. And on this day, no difference. Holcomb wins his fifth straight race. He had FTF. Switzerland in second. Teammate Nick Cunningham for the United States in the bronze position. The second two man bobsled race of the season. Holcomb uses a different break, but again, it's Christopher Froke. and Holcomb, good starts in both runs. Holcomb driving the new BMW sleds. And on the bottom part of the track, he finishes with his sixth straight victory. Four and two man, two and two man. Cunningham and Butner give the USA a one, two, three sweep in Lake Placid before the Christmas break. Now they move across the Atlantic to Winterberg, Germany. The NFT, Alex Bellman, FT. This might as well be a home track for him. Always done well here in Winterberg. A lot of Swiss fans. And on this day, Hefty starts the 2014 Olympic calendar out with a gold medal in Winterberg. Zukov in second. Corey Butler in the United States, his first bronze medal in Europe. And they celebrate with the Belton's beer. But now they go to the Olympic track in Samaritz. Beat Hefty, Alex Bauman. Hefty had never won a two-man gold medal or four-man on this track as a rider or a brakeman. That's hard to believe. And on this day, second at the end of the first run, and he holds off the rest of the field. He wins the gold medal in St. Moritz. Zupkovs in second. Francisco Friedrich of Germany's in third. Hefty, big smile on his face with his teammate Bauman. Now they move down to Innsbruck, not far away from Samaritz. Stephen Holcomb and Steve Langton. Holcomb been a little bit of a slump in Europe, had not medaled yet since he came across the Atlantic Ocean. But Holcomb finds his way down the Olympic track in Eagles and he has the best time for the gold medal. So Steve Holcomb, Steve Langton, his first victory in Europe. Hefty's in second, Zubkoff's in third, Friedrich was in fourth. Holcomb with his fifth gold medal of the season. And now they move to the World Cup final in the track in Codexy, Germany. Justin Cripps, Brian Bart out of Canada. Cripps, fifth place in St. Moritz last week, his personal best ever. He had never won a World Cup medal. But here at Codexy, he flew down the track in the first heat, to nobody's surprise, because he was good in practice all week. And in the second heat, he has the best time again. The Canadians celebrate. Justin Cripps, who wins his first medal ever, and it's gold in Codexy. Here's our final standings, Barnett, Cripps the gold, Hefty second, Russian third, two Canadians in the top three. But the World Cup title, that goes to the American, Stephen Holcomb. Holcomb beats Hefty by a considerable margin. Francisco Friedrich in third in World Cup points. Holcomb, the overall World Cup champion and two-man bobsled for the season. For FIBT Television, I'm John Morgan.